Good morning everyone, and welcome to the 121st edition and the start of a brand new week of Rise and Shine. And to start this week, I thought it would be more than appropriate to talk about Premonitions. Now, obviously, the definition of a premonition is a vision of something bad happening. Now, the best way to actually describe, I've already just given you a basic description, but the best way to actually go into more detail about it is to talk about the one series of American horror films that actually deals with characters that have these type of visions. The Final Destination films. Yeah. And let's start by going back to 2000 when Final Destination came out. The visionary of the premonition in that is Alex Browning. And this is how it happens. They're on a flight to Paris for a French class field trip. And he just happens to gaze out the window and he gets this premonition of the plane crashing. Killing everyone on board, including his class. When he wakes up after the vision, he has a panic attack, which gets him and six other people thrown off the plane. One of the teachers gets back on the plane. And then shortly after takeoff, it explodes in midair. Okay, Final Destination Two has a young a young lady named Kimberly. Have a premonition of a a road accident pile up that kills her and her friends and everyone else in it and when she wakes from the vision she has a panic attack where a police officer then comes and gets her out of her car but her friends stay in the car and when the truck hits that should be her friends dead straight away but somehow they manage to survive While everyone else, well, they were screwed. <laughs> yes, because the pile up happened. Just as she'd foreseen. Now, Final Destination 3 has a, a high school senior student named Wendy having a premonition while on a roller coaster of the roller coaster crashing due to a camera dropping. And wrapping around its rails, killing everyone on board. So her panic attack ushers just the back row off the roller coaster, leaving her boyfriend, who was on the front row, on. That's right. Which means as soon as the roller coaster set off, and as soon as they were, uh, the people who were off the roller coaster were outside, it crashed. Despite the fact the guy with the roller, uh, the, the guy with the camera, Frank, or Frankie, was off the roller coaster. Thing is, it was the camera dropping and wrapping around it that caused it to crash in the premonition. Now, in the final destination, the visionary is a young man named Nick. They're at a speedway racetrack. And he has a, and he has a vision or a premonition of 
a crash. A racing car crash that kills everyone on the bleachers. After this vision, his panic attack clears the whole stadium except for one man's wife, who was killed in the crash. Which happened shortly afterwards. Now, this is where it differs from the first three, where no one asks how the visionary knew the accidents were going to happen. Because one intelligent man, after the accident, asks Nick how he knew this accident was going to happen. Now, in Final Destination 5, the visionary is a young man named Sam. They're on a bus, and he sees this vision of the bridge they're on collapsing, and his panic attack gets everyone apart from a... It gets everyone off the bus apart from a few people and as soon as they're off the bus the bridge uh, the bridge starts to collapse and everyone in this premonition bar one person dies this one person doesn't die because Sam manages to get her across the bridge before it collapses. And when he wakes up, so obviously they're all on the bus when it when when the bridge collapses. Um, then they get they manage to get and then start the collapsing. Then. When a few people after the vision, after the premonition get off the bus, including Sam, they run to freedom and the bridge collapses. Now, say right now, here I am recording this episode, say right now if I entered a dream state and while I was daydreaming, I had a premonition Oh, one of the bus routes collapsed. Um, sorry, um, I have to say, while well, traveling on the bus, I go into a dream state during which I see this premonition of the bus me and my best friend are on crashing, getting everyone on board. And when I wake from it, I have a panic attack that causes the bus driver to slam on the brakes and usher everyone off the bus. And then a few people that don't believe me stay on. And then shortly after the rest of us get off, the bus sets off again and crashes. And then one of the people who's off the bus turns around to me and says, How do you know that was going to happen? Well, I'm not saying that is going to happen. I'm just giving you an example of a premonition to say if that did happen. And then death would start coming after us eventually. Now I'm comparing real life to Final Destination. <laughs> now, in these premonitions, the people who survive die in the exact order they would have in the premonition if they stayed in those situations, rather than leaving them. And I think that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you again tomorrow for the next episode. Until then, take care. Have a good day.